Hey you guys, I'm back, Luchi does it, with another video all about my BBL and breast augmentation. I literally had surgery, I want to say seven or eight hours ago, and um, it was pretty intense, um, but I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about the comparison between be having surgery here in the DR and having surgery possibly in the States. Um, for one, having surgery here in the DR, you need to plan, 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 plan. Make sure if you have a coordinator, you're on top in communication with them always because coming here to the DR, things can happen and go away and you have to be prepared for anything going to Florida or to um, Miami for surgery or anywhere in the States you're liable to possibly get in contact with somebody more quickly and um, be able to go to you know emergency or something like that if you need to um, here in the DR, I would say that when you're having surgery at this particular place, you go through a lot of tests, a lot. They are checking everything from your hemo hemoglobin, your glucose from your, your actual EKG. They test your heart. Also, they check they check um they check your breathing to see you know if you've smoked they ask you several questions they make you sign a lot of paper paperwork for the the most part they give you an x-ray of your chest and the doctor you know is just double checking everything every person that you get sent to they have to double check and make sure you know your passport and everything matches. So I would say that they are thorough when they're trying to get more information out of you to see if you're a good fit to have surgery. So I would definitely um, commend them for that. Um, for the states, I think the states do, do as well have a lot of paperwork. I'm not gonna say that they don't. Um, and I'm sure it's a tiny bit, probably a little bit easier. Um, and probably their faculties, I would say, are a lot more cleaner and put together. Um, but it's, I don't know, I think the states um, visually and just the money that they put on into their facility just looks a lot more put together um, here. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the room I'm in. So. It's, it's what it is, you know what I mean? So, I wouldn't say it's the greatest to be in, um, but I will say this that they the nurses and the staff they are definitely cleaning this is my wheelchair assistance person uh i have a question because nobody's going to pick me up yet i have 20 minute minutos okay, one minute. okay. so you want to find someone else yeah five minutes okay okay, yeah, okay. but where am i going to sit downstairs yeah. but it's 20. 20 minutes wait. No, I don't want to. I want to wait. Two. Cinco? Cinco minutes? Okay, gracias, senor. Um, another issue about coming to a different country to have surgery is they don't necessarily speak your language. So be prepared to have either a Google Translator or just, you know, have to explain in a different way about your expectations and the things that you want. Um, 
it's hard to to communicate <laughs> and they'll look at you kind of dumbfounded like you know but it comes with the territory I guess but um I would say other than that um, super nervous coming into this surgery um, a lot of the women they do come from all over the world so you'll get a little bit of everything but um I had a nurse a 12-hour nurse I would suggest to get a 24 hour nurse just because they're readily available. Um, you don't have to worry about feeling like <laughs> they're not being used because you pay for them, you know? Um, so definitely that. And the states, I know they probably could discharge you a little bit quicker. Um, so that might not be a great thing I think here they really are making sure that they take your blood pressure that they're you're mo they're monitoring you making sure that um, and it's not frequent frequent but they do come in to to check um, your status and how things are going and your your blood count and changing your because um, they put a catheter inside and so they're, they're changing that and also your drains, they're changing that. So I would say they're pretty good on keeping up with you. I'm trying to think, it's just, it's been a lot though. Um, luckily for me, I didn't have to do a tremendous, I mean, I did all the testing and they, they checked my background, asked about my parents and things like that and their health is issues and uh, brought previous pregnancies. Hi. But other than that, I would say that um, it went by pretty smoothly. I was just a bunch of nerves just because I didn't know what to expect. But you guys, overall, um, as far as my expectations and what I got, I got my BBL done for sure. I didn't bring a bobby pillow, so I messed up on that. But they have one at the recovery house that I'm at. So... I'm gonna have to get one there. Um, Money-wise, you'll definitely have to make sure you bring enough. Um, as whereas, I don't know. I feel like the price point here was still better, honestly, because I got three things done: BBL, breast augmentation, lipo, and he basically did an aggressive lipo. But um, if you were to go in the states, you probably would just get one of those, you know. And he works on patients that have a hemoglobin of a 12. He can work with you for a BBO and um, breast augmentation or whatever that I ended up getting. So I had, actually my hemoglobin went down like one notch. So it ended up being like a 12.2 instead of a 12.3. But all in all, um, <laughs> despite being super nervous, scared, they do give you a blue pill and you take it, that calms you down. And then the anesthesiologist comes in and talks to you about um, everything that you went already over with the other doctors that check on you. And he administers the medication for you to go to sleep. And that worked, I would say within the first five minutes because literally one minute i was just looking up like this and <laughs> just looking at my room and then bow i was asleep and i actually did wake up <laughs> during surgery it was towards the end but i don't know i don't remember too much more after that like i felt like i was saying a few things like mumbling but I was so drowsy and so drugged up, I don't remember. But um, I laid on my butt the first night, that's where I was sleeping at. And it was, it was, it wasn't too bad. The person that was in the bed next to me, she, um, she threw up. But all I would suggest you guys doing, if you decide to come here, is drink, 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 drink water water bottle after water bottle after water bottle 
they'll be bringing some to you. And if you have your nurse, make sure she stacks up on more water for you because you're gonna need it. But on that note, I do have some TMI for you guys. <sighs> I had a bowel movement. Okay, so I tried, I tried to just, you know, stand up and get ready to go. Um, this is right after I had finished eating. They give you some soup and some crackers. And like I said, I was drinking water. So water is pretty heavy. And all of a sudden, I just felt like a movement. Like, and I had no control over it, you guys. It was pretty scary. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, help me, help me. And it, my nurse had already left because she was only for 12 hours. But the person next to me had a 24 hour nurse and she, thanks, thanks to her, she, you know, allowed me to get some help from her and she literally took off that faja so fast i rushed to the bathroom and let it out so make sure when you do come make sure you bring lots of wipes maybe even a spray bottle because that stuff sticks and your butt isn't able to move like how it used to so you can't really get in there. So I was wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping. What I wanted to tell you guys real quick though, literally this is how their country works. So when you use the bathroom, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot flush the boo-boo <laughs> that's on the tissue down the toilet. You have to throw it in the trash can. So that's their rules and their policy. So yeah, so when I was doing it, I was just wiping, 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 putting it basically on the floor because I wasn't that close to the trash can. And then eventually I was able to get cleaned enough to be able to do that. But yeah, so that's just something that um, I found out about while being here. But other than that, um, I know this video is kind of long already. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to send me a message um leave a comment down in the comment section and i'll try to answer it the best i know how um definitely like and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one bye